Hi, it's Guy Harding again. Today we're going to show you the next development we've done on our Mark 7.5 Golf R uh, from Volkswagen. Today we're going to show you the benefits of the Racing Line Performance Intercooler. Uh, this is on our second step on our car where we have a stage one software and intake. Uh, we'll be progressing on that very shortly. But anyway, you'll be very surprised with the numbers and the data that comes out of here. A very well worthwhile upgrade. Thanks. Here is the car with the front removed off. You can see that on each side, left and right, there are two auxiliary radiators. This is the DSG car. Here is the radiator support panel off the front of the car. You can see the fans, radiator, and the intercooler sandwiched in between. And as we move around the front, you'll see the air conditioning condenser. And then here's a quick picture of the stack out of the radiator support. Once again, intercooler at the bottom, radiator up above it. You can see the mounts on the side there. And here is the Racing Line Performance intercooler shown next to the standard intercooler. You see the big difference in that. Then we have our big ass. <laughs> Here's one side of the test procedure. Here's John running the 7.5 on the Dynapack chassis dynamometer. You can see the accuracy of this thing is second to none. We get OBD data, but it'll pull up the tiniest differences in horsepower and torque. It's the most accurate tool out there for this job. Whilst I show you this quick video of the turbocharger in action, you'll see it start to glow red. I'll give you a couple of the other temperatures that the engine bay and the fluids have to deal with on the car. Uh, this might surprise a lot of people what goes on in here. Then I'll show you our dual stage thermometer we use for testing. Okay, This is plumbed into the inside of the intercooler and on the outside of the intercooler. You can see what a job it has to deal with and the temperatures it has to pull out. Then we'll show you some of the power figures. In this sequence of videos I'm going to show you the numbers and what's actually happening. You'll see the top number. The top number is the intercooler, the cold side where the air comes out passes through the intercooler. The bottom number is the temperature of the air as it goes into the intercooler. Now on the first pull we have 64 degrees of hot air going into the intercooler and, 100 and uh, up to 160 degrees Celsius going in. So we have a difference of 102 degrees Celsius on the outside we have 30 degrees and we raise to 40 degrees we get a 10 degree rise. On the multiple consecutive runs you can see now we were starting at around 70 degrees Celsius going in up to 194 degrees Celsius going in so 124 degrees change as the runs were pulled out and then on the outside of the intercooler our temperatures range from 35 to 47 degrees Celsius that is a massive drop in temperature. 12 degrees overall over five pulls. This page shows you an overall group of a dozen runs done. Six with the intercooler, six without intercooler. You can see here we've got a delta of 40 newton meters overall and 33 kilowatts variance. This is all at the same ambient temperature of 31 degrees Celsius. On this single page this probably gives us the best explanation of all. No intercooler fitted. We're starting with an intake temp of around 47 degrees Celsius and we're finishing at 63 degrees Celsius. With the intercooler installed, 43 degrees Celsius starting point, 43 degrees Celsius finishing point. You can actually th see through the middle of the run that we're decreasing in temperature down to around 39 degrees Celsius. So what does that mean in horsepower and torque? Well power up the top end here, 25 kilowatts difference. Torque, 30 newton meters difference. That's the reason why you need an intercooler.